So day two on the Royal Meeting, we'll start off with the centrepiece of the whole meeting, really, the Gold Cup. And at the top, we've got Diamond Jubilee, Craig Beckwith, King at Night, Leon Van Rensburg, Looney Tunes, the red-hot favourite of Paul Rhodes, October Tiger Graham, Clutterbuck, Darwin Starlet, Vinnie Gerard, Haraba Turk, David Robertson, Hidden Stance, Craig Allen, Highbury October Graham, Clutterbuck, Lakeland Highlands, Darren Thompson, So I Told You, David Hooley, Trouble Scene, Leon Van Rensburg. So 11 of them then over this two-and-a-half-mile trip will the heavy going and the continuing rain play a part in this and they're away and racing in the Ascot Gold Cup and Looney Tunes of course was such a comfortable winner last week will he do it today Ascot on heavy going in the rain we'll soon see and October Tiger one of the ten horses that have decided to take him on and at the moment those two are pulling clear so could we get a situation here where these two cut each other's throats because October Tiger and Looney Tunes are not hanging a bet to say this is a two and a half miler and they're already six lengths clear of the rest of them who are headed by the grey Haribo Turk right over on the far side is trouble scene then so I told you Lakeland Highlands after that one and then King at night but October Tiger is in the lead and Looney Tunes on the inside is pretty keen to keep tabs on him at the moment and those two are six lengths clear as they come up past the stand and you can see them from the roof of the stand there just momentarily and then we can see them from somewhere else and they're coming past the stand now and it's October Tiger in front from Looney Tunes second whether these two can keep this pace up for another 14 and a half furlongs I'm not sure but so I told you he's six lengths back in third then on the wide outside is Trouble Scene uh, Lakeland Highlands is close up as well the back marker at this early point is hidden stance but they've passed the winning post then they've got a full circuit of the Ascot track to negotiate and October Tiger is half a length clear of Looney Tunes and those two are six lengths clear of so I told you is third the grey hand of a Turk on the inside is probably just fourth King at night next to that one and then Lakeland Highlands then wider on the track trouble scene hybrid October stable companion of the leader is after that one then wide on the track Diamond Street Darwin Starlet on that one's inside and Hidden Stance just a back marker so not quite as far in front as they were the leading pair but October Tiger is now clear on his own if you like two lengths clear of Looney Tunes back in third so I told you King at night is fourth We've already got one major shock in this gold cup in that John Morgan's not got a runner he's normally got a red hot favourite in this but this year he's not even got a horse in it and it's October Tiger in the lead then by two to Looney Tunes in second gap of six back to so I told you in third and then King at night then Lakeland Highlands that chasing pack might be might be worth thinking about the way Looney Tunes just shot away last week if he's already six lengths clear when he puts that spurt in he'll win by a furlong but it's a different race today and October Tiger is in the lead by two and a half lengths to Looney Tunes in second five lengths back to Trouble Scene who's now third the Vinnie Gerard horse is making good ground around the outside that's Darwin Starlet also coming through nicely around the outside is Diamond Jubilee who's getting much closer but it's October Tiger who's the leader from Looney Tunes in second gap of five to Trouble Scene they've passed the seven pole in there and they're making their way towards this bottom part of the track and then they'll be shortly swinging towards home but it's October Tiger who's in the lead Looney Tunes still looks to be going well within himself in second back in third is Trouble Scene that one's just made a breakaway from the rest of them then comes Darwin Starlet Highbury in October Lakeland Highlands Hidden Stance is next so I told you he's lost his place on the inside Looney Tunes has come to challenge October Tiger as they pass the six it's still October Tiger in the lead though Looney Tunes is second Trouble Scene is getting close are only three lengths back back in third then after that one comes hybrid october then comes darwin starlet diamond jubilee now really running on nicely round the outside as they begin to swing towards home and looney tunes hits the front looney tunes hits the front suddenly october's got up and gone but hybrid october comes through to challenge it's looney tunes in the lead passing at three now he says go it's looney tunes in the lead hybrid october is second trouble scene is in third trying to stick on his october tiger diamond jubilee is still trying to close but it's looney tunes in the lead Looney Tunes is too clear there's still two furlongs to go he's not quite got away as he did last week he's still two 
Evelyn's clear there, but Horbury in October is getting closer. It's Looney Tunes in Lee, but now he's really starting to pull away. And Looney Tunes into the final furl is well clear, and they're not going to get anywhere near him. Looney Tunes not probably quite as comfortable as last week in Wales, but he's taken this one with a well pretty easy look at that six length lead at least and Looney Tunes takes it on October 2nd Darwin style at third so I told you fourth I think the ground may have gone for a few of them but it didn't bother Looney Tunes uh, just concerned early on that October Tiger and they're going to cut each other's throats maybe even Graham Clutterbuck thought that and that's why he put the two of them in but Looney Tunes is taking it by five and a half lengths for Paul Rhodes Hybrid in October 2nd for Graham Clutterbuck, Darwin Starler for Vinnie Gerard 3rd, So I Told You for David Hooley 4th, and Diamond Jubilee for Craig Beckwith was a 5th.